Hello ladies and gentlemen, here we have some really incredible mathematics today. This is regarding a thought exercise of digging to the mantle to get an infinite amount of iron ore because the mantle has a high iron content. So here's a little map we can look at regarding the iron ore and we would be digging down to the basaltic partial melt which is best case scenario about 20 kilometers 25 kilometers so the basalt has a iron oxide this is rust percent per weight of about 14 this is a best case scenario off of wikipedia for the minerals that they think the upper mantle is made out of you get rid of the oxygen you find out it's about 11 percent iron per weight so then we skip down to our tons blasted per day because we would be blasting this is the size of our hole xy size in feet 20 30 40 50 we have a range of variables this is our estimated speed per day of digging five feet per day ten feet per day 20 feet per day assuming 24 hours you do the xy squared times z which is this variable and you get this many tons you also have to multiply by the uh 1.6 so um yeah that's how many tons you get this is your number of exca excavators assuming an excavator can clear out 200 tons per day cubic yards per day so this uh is how many excavators you would need based on your dig rate and you have to assume if you can fit how many excavators in there a 40 foot by 40 foot you could fit two excavators in there maybe 4.7 9.5 you're not going to fit that many so you can kind of figure out where your dig rate is going to be so maybe 10 feet per day 40 by 40 that that's that's still pretty fast that's 948 tons per day so years to dig you have your depth and then you have your dig rate so we, we determine 10 feet per day right and according to this it's maybe 20 to 25 so 18 to 23 years is what we have determined based on all of this logic the math is pretty crazy right it's pretty complicated so now our revenue dollars per month based on our tons per day so this is our iron price this is listed online it's actually 130 i doubled it to try and get profitability the actual price is 130 that's at 65 percent grade so that means a hundred percent iron would be two hundred dollars a month our iron is 11 this is remember this is like a best case too with the basaltic partial melt 11 percent so you multiply by 11 percent you get 22 our ore is 22 dollars per ton we said 948 tons per day right this is the same same variables 948 tons per day we're looking at six hundred eighteen thousand dollars a day oh no no sorry that's a month sixteen eight six oh shoot uh, sorry i had to scroll down sixteen thousand six hundred eighteen thousand dollars a month in or per day now you thought that was the end of it look over here we got more math this is dollars per hour to operate digging this is dollars per year to operate digging you just multiply out the hours estimated mining equipment cost five million that's just a rough estimate this uh let's switch this from 36 years to that 23. so i think it's a 36 switch to the 23 a hundred million dollars to dig the hole which seems like a bargain absolute bargain now we have our dollars to lift to the surface our kilowatt hours per ton so this is our kilowatt hour 
cost of electricity and this is the depth that we are thinking of now look to our chart again what would we do we decide upon 25 i think we decided upon 25 so it's either $26 per ton, $51 per ton, or $77 per ton of electricity. This includes inefficiencies of the motors. 80, the motors are at 80% efficiency. So now we have profitability per ton. We just take our ore value at $22 per ton and our electricity costs at $26.51 and $77. And here's our profitability negative four dollars per ton negative 29 dollars per ton and negative 55 dollars per ton so our uh our electricity costs have to be less than three cents per kilowatt hour this is why it's impossible to do this with the iron ore price it would be profitable if we had to lift less if it was maybe 10 depth if the depth was 10 and three cents per kilowatt hour, then we would be making money, just barely. If our iron price doubles to 260, then we're making $33 per ton, which is much better. And you're looking at profitability per month with this is your tons per day. We decided on, what was it, 948? I forget where. See, this is all very confusing. I used um, these three numbers. So, pretend 948 is right here. Let me actually change this. Nine forty-eight, and that's profitability of twenty-seven dollars per day, which is. I forget how I pulled this up. But this is your profit per ton, 27, 33, $37, $37,000 per month. Even doubling, this is doubling our iron price and assuming our depth is 10 kilometers or 15 kilometers, see? 15 kilometer depth doubling iron price we're still only making $37,000 a month now this is the really where it really kills us years till the mine pays for itself because we know how much the mine costs the mine costs 100 million dollars so this is at our depth to uh, calculate the wait what I forget this math is very confusing so I'm like getting a little confused so we have our depth of our mine and then we have our tons we're digging which gets us our profitability per month I believe it's this chart over here oh no so you have the depth of the mine you have the width of the mine you have the speed that you're digging and all this other stuff all this other profitability this so many variables this is incredibly complicated math so i forget how we do this one this one uses this chart allegedly the profitability per month divided by the cost of the mine so we get 800 years for the mine to pay for itself and then in this terrible scenario where uh the mine is deep we get six thousand six thousand years twelve thousand years twenty one thousand years for the mine to pay for itself and um because this is the speed at which we're digging tons per day and then this is the profitability for the depth yeah that makes sense okay this all makes sense so best case scenario 230 years and then this is your percent return on investment our best case return on investment is 0.3 percent our worst case investment is let me have to add zeros <laughs> three one thousandths of a percent 
And this is doubling the iron price with the best case uh, scenario for ore. Let's do 10x. So this is 1300. If the iron ore price goes up 10x from where we are now, this is. Um, oh yeah, th this is for if we're building hundreds of thou thousands and thousands of arcs and we just need an unlimited supply of iron. Iron got really, really expensive. Now, it still takes 30 years, best case. Let's change this to 948, because that's what we estimated in, in the beginning. And it didn't even change. Oh, okay, it was already using 948. That was just for uh, clarity's sake. The calculation was already using it. Best case scenario, 30 years for the mine to pay for itself. With a 10x iron ore uh, oh this is uses this electricity so let's say the electricity gets really cheap this is in the future we're all we have solar panels so this is all photovoltaic really cheap electricity to lift the ore uh, profitability should have went up not down that's very bad news <laughs> that means my formulas wrong <laughs> Wait a second. Oh god. Okay, got a crisis scenario here. My formula is wrong. I'm gonna have to be right back. Okay, I was multiplying this number by this. So th these variables use this dollars per kilowatt hour. And then this was multiplied by 0.03 or 0.02. For some reason, I have no idea why I did that. So these numbers now are actually 30 times higher. They had an error of 30x prior before. So keep in mind these numbers are huge, but it's with a 10x increase in our iron ore price. So these numbers are now more accurate allegedly five years for the mind to pay for itself 1.5 years for the mind to pay for itself yeah I mean a thousand just seems kind of crazy didn't it it seemed it should have clicked something in my head so this is actually good news once again 10x iron ore price uh, this 49% return on investment 14 13% return on investment worst case with the slowest digging. I'm surprised this doesn't have a bigger effect as well. I think because this electricity price is so low. Um, I should add a variable to this. Because this doesn't include the depth. So this doesn't really include the cost of the mine going up. So this could be, if I add um, a range to the total mine digging cost, depending on the depth, then this would have a bigger range and this would have a bigger range. So I could do that right now. Okay, now I have a range for the depth. This is a very important for getting more accurate numbers in this last part of the chart. <laughs> Sorry for these improvements and corrections. This is very difficult math. So we have years for the mine to pay for itself. Look at this range. This range is much healthier, much more accurate. This is, we've had two improvements on this now in the video. So 10 kilometers is only two years. 0 0.6 years for a 10 kilometer mine. 5.4 is the worst. This is with a 10x iron ore price. 116% return on investment. Wow. So this is your average. This is using this bottom half. It doesn't use the whole thing. I think because 10 is unreasonable. So we would do our depth right here. Just like we do above. So 
I think that concludes... Let's just play with the numbers a little bit more. But I think that concludes the explanation and the fixes. So, let's zoom out. Can you still read that? Is that still legible? Let's do iron ore price of 2x. Wow. That was a real game changer with that 2 cents per kilowatt hour. This is reasonable. This is actually reason this is far more reasonable. This whole thing screwed up. This error right here screwed up everything for me. Now we're looking at a million dollars a month profitability at 2 cents per kilowatt hour at only 2x iron price. This is 2 cents per kilowatt hour, 400,000. Mine pays for itself in 8 years at this depth. Let's say that depth is unreasonable. Uh, yeah, see this depth... I think 15 is the best case scenario. Maybe even 20. 20 might be the best case scenario, right? So we're gonna have to go down here. We're at 231,000 for 948. My 940 is what we decided here. So 231,000 is what we're getting. 30 year payback on the mine. Damn it. <laughs> even with really cheap electricity, and this is actually today's iron price. 30 year payback on the mine. 2.4% return on investment. Which... Uh, it's something. It's something. I think it might be worthy to just start this. And to just start digging. And it would be <laughs> quite the project. <laughs> And quite the the journey to the center of the earth. Quite the project. Uh, so much fun. I would have a lot of fun doing this. Well, I'm having fun planning it. I don't think I'd actually have fun digging it. <laughs> that sounds very <laughs> grueling. Uh, how many years did we say it would take? 23 years? 25? To really get down there, 25, 23 years of digging. Wow. Incredible. This is incredible math. This might be the, my favorite math I've ever done. And it goes to show that if the iron price goes up significantly, which I think it will, Let's say 2x. I like I like a 2x from here. Now the mine pays for itself in eight years. It, although if we're not digging quite as fast, it's 29. So you have to you have to clear out a lot of tonnage to make this viable. Eight percent, eight years. Very very decent return on investment. Let's say if we get one cent per kilowatt hour, you got really cheap solar panels. Six year repayment, 10% return on investment. 23 year repayment, 3% return on investment. But there's just so many variables here and so much stuff to think about. I can't believe I fixed this twice during this video. It was so broken before. But this math is actually very hopeful now that I fixed those two things very hopeful math anyway uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there and remember a single dream is more powerful than 1000 realities